Hello. Today we're going to present you our work on convolutional networks for visual onset detection in the context of bowed string instrument performances. Well, what do we mean by visual onset detection? Onset is an acoustic event which refers to the very first moment of a note articulation. These events are, in several cases, strongly correlated with certain movements of the corresponding performer. So, there is a visual aspect of the onset occurrences. Okay? In the case of bowed string instruments, for example, there are certain very informative visual cues that relate to note articulation. Uh, that is, bowing motions, uh, hand and uh, finger movements on the instrument's neck, even other body movements, for example, uh, head movements. So, what if one chooses to detect onsets relying on these visual cues? What are the challenges? Can we detect onset times by the instrument player's bowing movements? How do we capture them? Uh, we can see here, depicted uh, in this picture, a violinist's body motion represented as a sequence of skeleton postures. Also, the performer's hand traces are depicted in a small time window that a note is played. Okay, uh, The blue line, which displays relatively strong variation in the y-axis, corresponds to the trace of the hand holding the bow. Can we leverage this information in computational terms? Uh, what about the other hand, the left one, which controls the pitch? Um, how can we capture the more subtle movements on the instrument's neck? Can we discriminate onset-related movements from irrelevant ones? For example, bowing movements bearing no musical content. Or, in the case of the left hand, the brother motion. Okay, we described the challenges that we face when dealing with uh, visual onset detection. But anyway, how can we cope with those difficulties? Here we present briefly our proposed inference procedure. First, uh, we need to crop the video frames of uh, multi-instrument video recordings properly in order to separate each instrument performance. We consider only one player string performances for our experiments, uh, and specifically the instruments violin, viola, cello, and double bass. Now, from each video, we extract the body skeleton together with the left, to be specific, hand joints uh, using open pause. Next, we extract certain features from the body skeletons and feed them to a temporal convolutional neural network, TCN, which predicts onset times. We also manage to isolate region, regions of interest that depict the left hand, the one that controls the pitch on the instrument's neck, and uh, we compute the optical flow. The pixel information is subsequently fed to a CNN-TCN, so that, that's a convolutional neural network stuck under a TCN. We're going to explain better that later. So, we discriminate between two sources of visual information, and we present two distinct methods. We worked on the University of Rochester Multimodal Music Performance Dataset. We followed a simple cropping procedure where each frame was segmented in n equal parts across the x-axis. n is the number of uh, performers appearing in the video. So we kept only 
one player string performances. And this way we end up with 61 videos in total. That's about the dataset. Okay, about the feature extraction now, uh, and specifically about the processing of the body skeletons, we actually smoothed and rectified the skeleton key points uh, co coordinates. And uh, now about the left hand features, as we already said, we computed the optical flow inside the small region of interest. What about the employed architectures? The first one are the TCNs. The TCNs are applied on the skeleton body features. These specific uh, TCNs employed here uh, use a wavenet-like wavenet uh, architecture, but uh, they are non-causal. Uh, and of course, they use dilated one uh, D convolutions. As for the handling of the left-hand regions of interest, we employ a three-layer CNN, which, take, which takes over the extraction of latent visual features by employing two D convolutions. These features are subsequently fed to the previously described CNN, TCN uh, model. To be more specific, we refer here to a unified CNN-TCN architecture. As for the experimental setup, we run two experiments. One for its distinct source of information. The TCN applied on the body skeleton features outperforms the CNN-TCN, which is applied on the left-hand rows. That is, the second source of information. Okay. In both cases, violin proves to be the easiest instrument to cope with in this uh, setting, while cello looks to be seems to be the hardest one. It's interesting to compare these visual models with previous audio onset detection methods. And we see here that even though the task of audio onset detection is considered a lot easier than the visual onset detection, the TCN applied on the skeleton features performs only less than 11% uh, lower than the audio state of the art. And compared with uh, previous uh, visual methods, we see again that the TCN outperforms uh, a previous uh, similar deep learning method by 13.9%. What is also important is to examine whether the two proposed systems, each for one distinct source of inf information, can capture complementary information. And indeed, looking at uh, table 3, by combining the true positive detections of uh, these two models, we get a significant increase of their call. So that can be explained by the fact that note articulation might involve only finger transitions on the one side, that is legatos, or only bow strokes, that is when the same note is played sequentially. Finally, we conclude that the TCN applied on skeletons manages indeed to capture quite accurately onset visual cues. Also, that the left hand motion proves to be another manageable source of information. As for future work, we think that it is a priority, taking under consideration the results, to develop a fusion mechanism for the two sources of visual information. Thank you for listening.